Okay, so question number 11. Given f of x equals 2 thirds x minus 4 and g of x equals 1 fourth x plus 1. Four statements about the system are written below. Roman numeral 1 says f of 4 equals g of 4. Roman numeral 2 says when x equals 12, f of x is equal to g of x. 3 says the graphs of f of x and g of x intersect at 12 comma 4. And then 4 says the graph of f of x and g of x intersect at 4, 12. So all you have to do is actually just make this a calculator problem. I'm going to type in f of x into y1. I'm going to type in g of x into y2. Actually, this is blue. This is red, so I'm going to erase. So in y1, I'm going to put my alpha y equal enter 2 thirds x minus 4. And then I'm going to do my alpha y equal enter my 1 fourth x plus 1. Now I'm going to hit second graph. And I'm going to inspect the values that they're talking about. So if I look, Roman numeral 1 says f of 4 is equal to g of 4. So those are my x values. So if I plug in 4, I get negative 1.3 repeating. And then I get 2. Those are not the same numbers. So I can't say 1 is true. So I can actually go down here to my answer choices and get rid of any answer choice that says one. Can't do choice one, can't do choice two, but I can get rid of choice three. Number two, when x equals 12, f of x is equal to g of x. So what they're saying is f of 12 equals g of 12. Let's see if that's true. So I scroll down to x equals 12 and I get four for both of them. That is true. So I know that it can't be choice two because that says only Roman numeral four. So right now it has to be choice one or choice four. So I am actually going to not even look at Roman numeral four. I'm gonna look at Roman numeral three. It says the graphs of f of x and g of x intersect at 12 comma four. Well, if you think about it, this is my x value. This is my y value. Their y values are the exact same at x equals 12, so they do intersect at 12, 4. So this is true. So I can say my final answer is choice 4.